Yeah, morning everyone. Uh, my name is Edmund Barrett. Uh, I'm from the, the marketing uh, department at uh, the Lembeek company. I'm here with my uh, technical colleague, uh, Frank Reusch. And uh, we wanted to um, show something that we've been demonstrating um, at, at various events in recent times. And, and Frank will hopefully be able to explain what the different devices do uh, and what Lemon Beat uh, plays for a role within that. Uh, later on we'll come on to a couple of advantages for why, that, uh, um, why this is particularly special or anything. Um, uh, so yeah, take it away with the, the various devices. That isn't one of them, that's my coffee, so I'll just move that out of the way quickly. Okay, is this, is this cooling is integrated in an automated uh, device network. Uh -huh. uh, which based on a motion sensor and which based on a temperature sensor. Okay. And the idea is um, a room, a meeting room, uh, will be cooled only uh, if there's anyone in this room. Mm -hmm. That means if, if there are no people in the room, there's no cooling okay. at this time and uh, no uh, power consumption. Okay, and that's something that isn't out there at the moment or it's something where Lemon Beat Smart Device Language is kind of offering something extra on top? Yeah, sure. Uh, it is a, is a uh, working together between uh, some some sensors and uh, we make an automated uh, connection of them. Okay. And the, the working is that uh, if the motion sensor send uh, us data, there are people in a room. Yeah. Uh, after this, it's, it's a precondition. Mm -hmm. And after this, um, the temperature sensor sends all, all the time temperature data. Yeah. And now uh, temperature data are important. Is mm -hmm. uh, are they above um, a threshold mm -hmm. and yes if a uh, threshold is reached mm -hmm. the cooling starts this work okay um, so you've talked about um, these these LEDs um, uh, in the first instance which is to to represent if there's somebody in the room or, or not yeah. Um, then we've got this big green bit, uh, which I know already because that's our device that's development that's that's uh, that's board. The control board of us. So, so cooling and yeah. Uh, now we have a green light. Uh, that means there's nothing, uh, no one in a room, mm -hmm. and the cooling uh, doesn't work. Now, if if someone uh, so, so the light is yellow, uh, like this here. Um, maybe there's a technical problem. Okay, of and just to be cooling. just to be clear here, um, I can see it over Frank's shoulder. Uh, um, in this particular case, um, obviously we're not uh, we haven't linked up a, um, a motion de a detector or something like that. This is a theoretical exercise, so he's inputting um, the uh, the values um, through a, a piece of software on his computer. So just. Um, we, we're showing sort of the theory and practice, but um, it's it's still kind of a, I guess a um, a mock-up in this uh, in this respect. Okay. Now uh, maybe we uh, we have the situation that no one is in the room and uh, the signal is a screen, mm -hmm. and now someone is going into the room. Yeah. First, the cooling doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no power consumption, no uh, no cost for that. Mm -hmm. Now something is going uh, into the room. It's very warm weather, mm -hmm. and uh, now we show uh, the light goes to to red. And the fan starts his work. Yeah. Okay. And uh, because we have um, temperature of twenty-five degrees. Yeah. It's a moment. So it's basically yeah. It's you've got the the various devices. One of them is is sensing somebody is in the room. Um, you've got uh, a, a temperature sensor which is giving uh, as a value set um, as a threshold set by the consumer. Um, and with that, those two, those two factors, then the fan is then kicking in. But uh, where's Lemonbeat or Lemonbeat Smart Device Language playing a role within these various devices? Uh, the, the main idea is we, we don't need any kind of, of central control. Okay. That means we have an uh, automatist uh, uh, working between uh, sensors and actors. Mm -hmm. And the sensors uh, work together like that. Uh, the, the cooling is only working if there is anyone in a room, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a precondition. Mm -hmm. And so we can configure all of these devices uh, with, with one software stack and one, one chip mm -hmm. uh, very easily mm -hmm. because, it, because it's absolutely generic and universal uh, language. So we can basically describe any, uh, if I was to bring something else, I mean, uh, rather than say this uh, binary module here, 
uh, if I was to bring something else into it, I would be able to reduce it down into a, a, a and describe it within um, using Lemvit smart device language. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. And now is the second way. If uh, the cooling is working and the temperature goes down, maybe to to twenty two degrees, mm -hmm. and then we will see that the cooling is stop working, mm -hmm. and maybe. Um, 30 minutes later, yeah. people are discussing, people working, yeah. temperature is growing, uh, maybe to 24%, and uh, the motion sensor already already shows there are people in the yeah. room as a precondition. Mm -hmm. uh, so the temperature sen the sensor is sending us 24 degrees, and, and then then auto then automatically, automatically the cooling is starting again. Yeah, well, fantastic. With, and that uh, always with, uh, without any central control. Yeah. If you want to change some data uh, during runtime, it's easily. Yeah. Yeah. So there we have it. It's a simple, simple model um, where we're using a number of devices. Um, we're running it all on um, Lemonbeat smart device language um, using a um, one of our Lemonbeat stacks that we offer. Um, and and don't, yet, at, don't, don't forget with this software stack and this. Uh, Receiver, uh, a lot of movers of, of Gardena are running uh, through Europe's gardens. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the, some of the technology is already out there. It's not just sat here in, in the room with us. Um, but this is one nice little use case, uh, which is very easy to implement. You can also use data from um, external sources as well. Wouldn't be a, a problem to, to bring that in as well. Um, if you're looking for more information, uh, check out our website. Um, in terms of where you can get device development kits, where you can uh, buy chips, license stock, software stacks from us, um, as well as call on our various expertise, then um, just uh, check out our website. Uh, and also, if you want to know more about the Lembeat Smart Device language, and you're really into uh, long reads, then we also have a, a specification of uh, the application layer that we use, um, which may also be of use to you.